in a way, people from elsewhere perhaps know more about the structure of the Bundeskal because there's been a lot of international interest. There certainly has, yes. We actually um, have a, a map of the world with not all, but a lot of the people who visited from, from over the world. Um, there is a lot of interest because it's the only Manx-speaking school. I know there are Irish and Scottish-speaking schools and, um, and that sort of thing, but, but they're interested in the fact that we've started a language up, not from having a language based community so much but people wanting to carry on and um, and learn it and from that there's been a lot of parents have come along and started to learn it so I think that has created a lot of interest uh, there's been studies from people from Canada a professor from Canada comes every two years there's um, the Sami people who want to set up schools of their own um, Cornwall, um, I've been down to Cornwall to speak to people there about uh, what we're doing here to see if I can help them with their situation so we look to other people who've already set in motion this kind of thing to help us but we're now being a help to other people um, who are also trying to do this kind of thing and see what a success uh, we've been and from having started as a Manx stream within Balakotcha school of course moving to the Bunskal and developing itself some people perhaps still look on it as an experiment but it's far more than that I think it's, it's certainly shown its worth with the number of children who've left and have gone on to do very well subsequently That's true, yes um, I was talking to somebody only the other day who was saying um, that uh, they were a bit disappointed their grandchild hadn't gone to the Bund School because um, that somebody had said well what's the use of learning Manx but they hadn't looked at the wider picture about just learning any other language you can get into the culture for one thing but it just helps open different pathways in your brain and helps all sorts of things not just your language it helps with maths and um, well they've sort of made studies with maths they also said there's a link to sort of extend your life your health so you don't get the Alzheimer's quite so soon as well apparently but there's lots of studies about learning a second language and I know it's helped my daughter to learn other languages since as we spoke Manx and English in the home when they were very small but, but yes we've had children who've gone to Oxford we've, we've got instrument makers as well we've got all sorts of people that have left as we're a lad doing a course about how to make instruments make violins down in somewhere near Cambridge and there's another one that's gone to St Andrews in Scotland and there's uh, somebody who's just got a first in psychology, she just left uh, Liverpool and she, she came out with a first in psychology but I don't think we get particularly I mean they're, they're probably quite clever anyway the children but not all of them are but they sort of certainly either found a work, work ethic or just the, the way they, they think certainly helped them to get where they, they are today Julie Matthews, head of the Bunskal Rielgach in St John's and you may be thinking that the organisation and facilities that we've just been hearing about are very much the same as in other primary schools in the island. And that's just the point. The Bunskal Rilgach shares the same educational ideals and aspirations and tackles the same educational issues. The only difference is that the everyday language of the school is the Manx Gaelic. The Bunskal Rilgach is not there to teach Manx, but to teach all its subject areas through Manx. So, as in the island's other primary schools, the children are finding out about life, the universe, and everything. But in the Bunskal Rilgach, the answer is, Jis has died. 